Hi, my name is Adam Rizek, and I'm a folk rock singer-songwriter from New England, USA. I'm making this Kickstarter video to tell you about a musical goal I've had since I started playing and recording music, and to ask you for your help in making that goal a reality. My goal is to release an album on vinyl, a 33 RPM physical record like this one. I know what you might be thinking, nobody listens to vinyl anymore. Well, that's part of why this is so special to me. I think music today is a very severe disconnect with both the people who make it and the people who listen to it, and it's very much due to the digital age in which we live. Now, I'm only 24, so I wasn't around for the heyday of vinyl, but I still can't help but feel nostalgic for a time when listening to an album required experiencing it in its most visceral sense and not just clicking a button on the internet. Plus, I do listen to vinyl, and I know many others who do as well for very similar reasons. Vinyl has a serious tangibility and feel to it that you don't really get with digital mediums. Plus, even if you don't listen to it, it makes a great and unique keepsake. And if all the computers and hard drives with my music files are ever lost and gone forever, well, you'll have an analog copy of an album that you can't accidentally delete. I've just recently finished recording my fifth independent album of original music called In the Night for the Morning. For this record, as with my last two, I have done all the recording, production, mixing, and mastering myself in a home studio I put together here about a year and a half ago. I play every instrument on the album, including acoustic guitar, electric guitar, bass, banjo, mandolin, piano, harp, keyboards, and vocals, as well as drums and percussion, except on two songs which I had my longtime friend and collaborator Dan Yanofsky help me out on, because he's way better at drums than I am. Thanks, Dan. As with my other records, I've asked for the help of a local independent artist to do the cover art. My past albums have been done by my cousin, Laura Zuby, myself, with editing help from my friend Alex Old, and my girlfriend, Danelle Noyce, for two albums. For In the Night for the Morning, I've enlisted the help of my friend, Ari Lanzalotti. Ari has made a really kick-ass cover, and I'm thrilled to have it grace my record. The problem with pressing vinyl is it is a very expensive process, and it has to be done in relatively large batches. For me to achieve my goal, I need to raise $3,000. If you don't know, the way Kickstarter works is people donate money to a project through this website, but they are only charged if the goal is met. This means if I only get up to $2,900, nobody is charged and the fundraiser just goes away. It's also worth mentioning that contributions to the project are not without reward. There's a whole range of incentives at different price points, and this is really more of a pre-ordering system than anything else. These rewards encompass everything from a digital download, uh, to vinyl, to private concerts, and personalized cover songs for a bit more. All of these price points can be viewed on the right side of the screen. Just scroll down. Now, I've already recorded the album, I'm just getting it ready for release, so every penny that is earned from this project will go directly to production of this album on vinyl. And if I exceed this goal, I will put it towards more copies of this record on vinyl, extra CD copies of previous albums to be given out to those who contributed, or even release an older record on vinyl too if I do really well. Either way, it all gets used to make copies of my records to be given out to those who contribute at certain amounts. I know it's a lofty goal, but it's one I believe in for a lot of reasons. I think recorded music can get back to what it once was, an artistic experience that can be just as powerful in solitude as it can be amongst a group, bringing people together or just giving you something to think about. Thank you so much for listening, for any contribution you make, and for helping to keep vinyl alive. Rock on.